We've learned that a prefix is a word part that's added to the beginning of a word and changes its meaning. Let's look at some prefixes. This word is misread. The prefix miss is underlined. I know that the prefix miss means wrong or incorrect. So misread must mean read incorrectly. <clears throat> Let's look at this chart of prefixes and their meanings. For each prefix on the chart, we'll talk about its meaning. Then we'll read the example word in the third column and figure out the meaning of the word. Look at the first row. The prefixes are non and dis. They mean not. Now look at the example in the third column. Which prefix do you see? Dis. Great. What is the word? Yes, dislike. Since we know that dis means not, what does the word dislike mean? That's right, to not like something. Excellent. Let's look at the next row. In and M. The prefixes in and M mean not, or they can also mean into. Let's look at the example in the third column. Incomplete. Which prefix do you see in the word? That's right, in. Now, what is the word? Yes, incomplete. We know that in can mean not, but it can also mean into. Let's try out the meaning of each with the word complete. We'll start with the first meaning. Incomplete could mean not complete, or it could mean into complete. Which one do you think is correct? I agree, not complete is what sounds best for the meaning of incomplete. Next is our prefix pre. Pre means before. Let's look at the word in the third column. What is the prefix? Yes, it's pre. Read the word. Preschool. Knowing that the prefix pre means before, what do you think the word preschool means? Yes, it means literally before school. So preschool is where you would go before you're ready for full-time school. Then we have the prefix uni, which means one. In the word unicycle, we have the prefix uni. What do you think unicycle means? Yeah, cycle means wheel and uni means one, so unicycle means one wheel. Next is the prefix by. It means two. What do you think the word bicycle means? Yes, it means two wheels. And how about the last one? The prefix is tri, which means three. So what do you think tricycle means? You've got it three wheels. We know that a unicycle has one wheel, a bicycle has two wheels, and a tricycle has three wheels. Great job decoding the meaning of each of these words by using your knowledge about their prefixes. We've also learned that a suffix is a word part added to the end of a word that changes its meaning. Let's look at some suffixes now. This word is bendable. I know that the suffix able means able to, so bendable must mean able to bend. Now let's look at this chart of suffixes and their meanings. For each suffix on the chart, we'll talk about its meaning, and then we'll read the example word in the third column and figure out the meaning of the word. 
Look at the first row. The suffix is er, and it means more or more than. Now look at the example in the third column. Which suffix do you see in the word? Er. That's right. What is the word? Yes, it's taller. Since we know that er means more or more than, what does the word taller mean? It means to be more tall than something else. Great job. Now let's look at the suffix est. The suffix est means most or best. Read the word in the third column. Yes, tallest. Knowing that est means more or best, what do you think the word tallest means? Yes, it means to be the most tall. Then we have the suffix ed. It means in the past. What is the word in column three? Yes, it's walked. What do you think the word walked means? That's right, it means to walk, but in the past, like you already did it. Lastly is the suffix ing. Ing is the action or process. Read the word in the third column. That's right, it's walking. Using your knowledge of the suffix ing, what do you think the word walking means? That's right, it means to be in the process of taking a walk. Great job. We're going to read each line of words and then talk about the words. Are you ready to read? Let's start with line one. Quicker, coldest, preview. Now let's look at each word one at a time. Quicker. Does this word have a prefix or a suffix? Yes, it has a suffix. What is the meaning of the suffix? Yes, it means more or more than. Which is the base word? That's right, it's quick. So we have quick plus er. What does the word quicker mean? That's right, it means more quick. How about the word coldest? Does it have a prefix or a suffix? Yes, it has a suffix, est. What do you think the word coldest means? That's right, it means the most cold because est means most. Then we have the word preview. Does this word have a prefix or a suffix? That's right, it has a prefix. What does the prefix pre mean? Yes, it means before. So what do you think the word preview means? That's right, it means to view before. Let's read the next row. Impossible, mislead, heated. Let's look at each word one at a time. The first is impossible. Does this word have a prefix or a suffix? Yes, it has a prefix. What does the prefix im mean? That's right, it means not or into. So what do you think the word impossible means? Yes, it means not possible. How about the word mislead? Does it have a prefix or a suffix? Yes, this has a prefix. The prefix miss, what does that mean? Yes, the prefix miss means bad. So what do you think the word mislead means? That's right, the word mislead means to lead somewhere that is bad or to lead badly. The last word is heated. Does the word heated have a prefix or a suffix? Yes, the word heated has a suffix. The suffix is ed, d. What do you think the word heated means? You've got it. It means to heat in the past. Great job decoding all of these words and figuring out their meanings using their prefixes and suffixes.